NFL free agency predictions coming at you here at Chat Sports Mitchell Renz in today's show presented by Aura. Let's face it, y'all. We are using the internet more than we ever have. And there's a lot of people using the internet that, let's be real, probably don't really know how to actually use it. So we have an awesome safety tool to make sure that your identity doesn't get stolen and to make sure that that money you're working for stays in your bank account. Go to Aura.com slash Chat Sports to start your 14-day free trial. You literally have nothing to lose. So this is what's going to happen here on today's show. I'm going to look into my little crystal ball here, and I'm going to tell you where I think Odell Beckham Jr., Julio Jones, J.C. Treader, and that final name, Anthony Barr, is going to end up signing this offseason. Let's go first, though, to Odell Beckham Jr., because arguably... He's the best free agent that is still left unsigned. And I actually don't know if he's going to be ready for week one after tearing his ACL in the Super Bowl. One of the things that you have to be able to recognize and respect the hell out of from Beckham is this was probably one of the most intriguing players I've ever seen his first three years in the NFL with the New York Giants. That catch, I can still remember it. I remember where I was at. I was literally in Germany riding my bike when... That catch ended up happening. Remember, the time differences are a little bit wild. Either way, when you talk about Beckham, though, he goes to Cleveland, has an up and down, had some injuries. Then he went to Los Angeles, and you're like, holy crap, this guy looks unbelievable. Maybe it's Matthew Stafford, and you know, he doesn't have Baker Mayfield anymore. Then, unfortunately, he tears the ACL, and he's a free agent, and we're right back into this swirl of, wondering where he's going to be. So on today's show, I'm going to try to let you guys know where I believe he ends up going, but I also am going to give you some top names or some destinations, some landing spots, if you will. For OBJ, I see the Rams, Ravens, Packers, Bears, and Saints. These are the top five teams I believe are have the highest chance to sign OBJ. So here at Chat Sports, we want your recommendations. We want to know what you're thinking. I want to be able to have a two-way conversation with every single person that watches this video. So please let me know where you guys think OBJ is going to play next season. My prediction, it's boring. I know I haven't gone back to the Rams. Why? He was good with Los Angeles. And if I was Beckham, I'd be like, all right, wait a minute. I can go back to LA because he's also one of these figures that he should be thinking after football, and if you were to tell me who was one of the top five players that I could see in a movie 10 years from now, three years from now, Odell Beckham Jr. is definitely up there. The other two are probably Gronk and Tom Brady, if I'm being real. The Rams, they traded away Robert Woods, and I like Robert Woods a lot, but Beckham added a different level of athleticism to that offense, and yes, they also added Allen Robinson, but the Rams are aggressive, and they have always been aggressive, especially over the past few seasons. So we look at the past 12 games that Beckham played with Los Angeles, 48 grabs, 593 catches, seven touchdowns. This also is including the playoffs because in those four playoff games, he had 21 catches over 256 yards, I believe, and he ended up getting another two scores. So like Beckham to me was a really, really good player in the playoffs and was showing that, hey, I still deserve to be in this conversation of one of the best players out there. Now, in terms of the regular season stats, which you'll see in 2021, the 44 catches, the 537 yards, five touchdowns, like he had a really good chemistry with Matt Stafford. And for that reason, I know it sucks. It's kind of lame, but I see him going back to Los Angeles. If Beckham does re-sign with the Rams or hell, if he signs anywhere, we're going to be making a video about it here. So I don't want you to miss it. So please hit that subscribe button. You have nothing to lose. It's a free video coming your way. And if you don't like it, you can unsubscribe. First, I might judge you a little bit, but, you know, we're giving you free videos. So turn on those notifications and shout out to the people who were the very first five commenters on our July 5th video that I made. So shout out to Roach So Loaded. Car, I'm going to call you Carl Lit Boy 31, Cameron Christie, John Ruiz, Tristan Bravo. Bravo to you to being a part of the Nodi Gang. And if you want to see your face, picture, logo, whatever the hell this thing is on a future show, hit that notification bell, click all, and try to be one of the first five commenters. Let's go to the next name here. It's Julio Jones, who was cut by the Tennessee Titans after a disappointing 2021 season. Let's face it, it's age. It's injuries, and they might have finally have caught up to the great wide receiver known as Julio. I mean, let's face it. If you're a receiver, if you're a player in any world, and people know you by your first name, 
that tells you everything you need to know. Julio was an unbelievable player. He was arguably, I think, a top 10 receiver all time when he was fully healthy. That's the type of production that he was putting up there. Now the issue is this. He's missed 14 games over the past two seasons. Teams don't necessarily know how much of Julio you're going to get. But if you're a team that's like, we're in win-now mode, we're in Super Bowl mode, I think you'd be crazy not to at least try to go out and get Jones. So before I tell you where I think he's going to end up playing, hey, what about some destinations? The Baltimore Ravens, they need another big-time receiver. The Green Bay Packers, they traded away Devontae Adams. Chicago, they need a field stretcher. Indy, just put Julio back with Matt Ryan or the San Francisco 49ers because the best season Julio ever had was with Kyle Shanahan. So what do you think, y'all? Those are my top five Jones destinations. But where do you think Julio Jones will play this upcoming season? I have him playing, well, actually... First, I'm going to tell you why you should get started with Aura. You do more online than ever. Heck, last year, or in 2020, 49 million Americans had like their money stolen. $56 billion every 14 seconds. Somebody has their identity stolen. That is unbelievable to me. So all I want you to do is this. Not only take care of yourself, but take care of your family as well. Because we got family plans where you can protect yourself and then for other people. All you got to do is go to Aura.com slash chat sports. Start your free trial. It's 14 days. Start a free trial. If you don't like it, hey, it's all good. But at least you tried. I know you work hard for your money. I know I work hard for my money. So I would hate to see somebody take it away from you. And a lot of people are like, ah, oh, Mitch, I'm not going to get caught by those hackers. And you know what? That might be true. But I also know this. I know my aunt, she's got three kids. And she gives her phone to her kids every opportunity she gets to get a second to take a breath or to eat dinner or maybe have a sip of wine. How many times have you gotten a text message or a random phone number from somebody that you don't know and it ends up being a spammer? Guess what they're trying to do? They're trying to get your information. And you might not answer that call. You might not click that link in the text message. But your kids might. So all I'm saying is protect yourself, protect your family, Aura.com slash chat sports. So Julio Jones. He's going to go to the Indianapolis Colts. I just have him rejoin with his old buddy, Matt Ryan. And if you want to look for opportunity, the AFC South is wide open. Julio played 10 seasons with Ryan. The Colts are a legit playoff contender because of that division. I know Jacksonville got better. I just don't see them being all that legit. And when you go back and you look at those 10 years that Jones and Matt Ryan played together, I mean, these numbers, guys, are just, they're insane to me. 848 catches, 12,896 yards, and 60 touchdowns in 10 seasons. You're essentially telling me that's 84, 85 catches a year, over 1,000 yards. I, I'm not a mathematician, but Julio Jones and Matt Ryan really could go down as one of the best wide receiver uh, quarterback duos in the entire history of the NFL. So we're going to stick here with the offensive side of the football, and we talked, you know, skill, position, players, wide receiver, flashy. Well, hey, the big guys up the middle, they're important too, and J.C. Treader is the top interior offensive lineman out there. Now, he is still unsigned, and maybe it's medical, maybe it's the NFLPA duties to blame. I don't really have a great answer for that, but this guy right here has played over 1,000 snaps every single year since 2017, and he's a smart football player. And he's got to be a smart guy to go to Cornell, right? Last season, according to PFF, a 78.7 overall grade. If you are a team right now that lacks a center or is trying to be definitely a run-heavy team, J.C. Treader can help. He's also good in the pass game. Don't get it twisted in that regard. I get it. He's over 30 years old, 32 years old. He's been comp contemplating. Is that how you say it? Yeah, contemplating retirement. Treader, to me, though, still would have a lot of teams interested in him, especially the Miami Dolphins. I've said this a million times. Miami's offensive line stinks, or at least it stunk last season. You got to make sure it doesn't stink again this season or else two was donezo. The Minnesota Vikings, their center position, not great. The Texans, they have a need there. The Arizona Cardinals, Rodney Hudson might retire. And then the Jags. Trevor Lawrence got hit so many times last season. You can't have it happen again. So, J.C., where is he going? I know if he goes to Miami, Will Scott's going to be probably taking his clothes off and doing a crazy show on Dolphins today. Heck, if he goes to the Vikings, my guy, Jack Waterey, he's going to be excited too. So let me know, where will J.C. Treader play next season? Get ready, Jack. He's going to that left hand out ready to go because I have him going to the Minnesota Vikings. They need a center. Treader would fit perfectly, I believe, in what Kevin O'Connell is going to try to do. And here's the other thing. 
out of all the players on this list, the only one who I think is legitimate to retire is Treader. In fact, I actually would say there's a 50-50 chance either he goes and signs with a team or he just retires. So call it in the air right now. Heads, he retires. Tails, he signs with another team. Now, if you guys like the content we make here at Chat Sports, guess what? We make even more content, or at least I do over on Locals. And right now, the top five Locals content creators, Russell Brand, Tulsi Gabbard, Dr. Drew, The Rubin Report, and some guy named Mitchell Renz. If you want to watch any of these shows, go to Locals.com. Check it on out. If you want to join my Raiders community, all you got to do is scan this QR code right here or go to the link that you see below, RaidersReport.Locals.com. I produce a bunch of videos. It's exclusive content. It's an easier way for me to get to know you. And if you want to get to know those other hosts, that's what the cool part about Locals is. It's easier to get in contact with all those people. The final name here is Anthony Barr. We're going to go to the defensive side of the football and where could this guy end up signing? I mean, he's missed 20 games the past two seasons. I believe when he's on the field, he can still play at a very high level. And if you're a linebacker needy team that wants somebody who can get after the quarterback, drop back into coverage, also stop the run, Anthony Barr can still do all of those things, even though he's about 30 years old right now. So in 11 games, he had 72 tackles last season, two and a half sacks, three tackles for loss, three interceptions. I'm telling you. Barr can help a contender out right now. And when I really think about, all right, who are some teams that could use Anthony Barr's services? There's a lot of teams out there. So this top five list was difficult. I put the Vikings on here because he's played there basically his entire career. The Raiders have an at linebacker. Dallas has been connected to him. Pittsburgh could use another LB. And then the New York Jets. I mean, they need real scale the help that they can get. So the last one here, where will Anthony Barr Play this upcoming season. Look into that crystal ball and let me know. Here we go. We got Barr going to the Dallas Cowboys. They're going to have a lot of people excited. Tom Downey, it's like I just cracked the 69 joke. That's how excited he would be about this move. And the fact that Dallas has interest in signing Barr, there was a report that came out that said Dallas would want Barr to help kind of groom Micah Parsons and to continue to help him grow not only into a great player, but trying to groom him into one of the best defensive players in the entire league. The Cowboys have the money to do it. The NFC East is always a really competitive division, so that's why I got Anthony Barr going to Dallas. So let's wrap this bad boy up. Let's put a bow on it. OBJ going to the Rams. Julio Jones, Colts, J.C. Treader to the Vikings, Anthony Barr to the Cowboys, and if any of these moves happen, we'll keep you updated here at Chat Sports. Mm -hmm.